Dark Souls 2 is a bad game. I know it is, because the internet said so. I mean, I enjoy playing it, but the internet is never wrong. So let's look at some reasons why Dark Souls 2 is bad, and why FromSoft should feel bad. 1. Dark Souls 2 is a good game, it's just not a good Dark Souls game. You know, just like how Radiohead's second album was a good album, but not a good Radiohead album because it didn't sound exactly the same as the first one. Or how Empire Strikes Back was a good movie, but not a good Star Wars movie because the, well of course I know him, he's me, guy is dead in it and he was alive in the other one. Or how the bowl of Weetabix I had this morning was a good breakfast, but it just wasn't a good bowl of cereal because it's not the same as the bowl of cornflakes I had yesterday. Schrodinger's Dark Souls 2. Simultaneously good and bad, and you can only find out which one is true by actually playing the game. Ugh. Can I just watch some Varty Law vids instead? Jeez. 2. Dark Souls 2 is bad because I am bad at Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls is good because it forced me to relearn things and adapt to its systems and combat. Dark Souls 2 is bad because it forced me to relearn things and adapt to its systems and combat. Again. And I can't adapt more than once, I'm not superhuman for fuck's sake. So, I'm going to carry on trying to tank heal in an enemy's face, or walk through a fog door while something's attacking me, because if I die, that will be the game's fault for being bullshit and absolutely nothing to do with me, right? 3. Dark Souls 2 makes no sense. The audacity of this bitch of a game. So, there I am, right? Walking through Harvest Valley, minding my own business, and I'm looking up at the earthen peak in front of me, right? So there's like, all these towers with windmills and shit, and I'm thinking, this looks cool. And then there's just like, sky behind them, right? But then, when I kill a boss at the top of earthen peak, there's this elevator, right? And it goes up. Like, all the way up where? Into the fucking sky? And I get out, right? And get this, I'm in the fucking Iron Keep, which is inside a giant volcanic mountain that, like, totally wasn't there in the background before, and I absolutely cannot believe that a game series in which you kill monsters to consume their souls, which are an accepted form of currency in this world, and when you die, time somehow rewinds and everything you killed is alive again, except certain things that aren't, because reasons, and all this is happening because a bunch of weirdos found some souls inside a fire, like, why were there even souls inside a fucking fire anyway? and started a turf war with some dragons who were just chilling and vaping and shit and then there's also a giant boob lady and someone with snakes for legs and why can I parry a giant troll with a huge club but not parry a tiny little rat and <gasps> I absolutely cannot believe they would do something like this to me. My immersion is shattered and my day is ruined. Ooh, shiny. Four. Why you let me buy pretty butterfly clothes, but when I show friend pretty butterfly clothes, friend gets sad and won't kill me. Dark Souls 2, bad game. Five. Dark Souls 2 is bad because it doesn't have an interconnected world like Dark Souls 1 does. Here are some more games that are bad because they don't feature interconnected worlds. Well, okay, that last one really is bad. 6. Why when me fight this man, camera lock onto that man when that man not fighting me? Dark Souls 2, bad game. 7. Dark Souls 2 ties your iframes when dodging to a stat which you have to level up to get more effective dodges, which is bad. Man, I hate it when games force you to level up to increase your potential abilities. Like, Imagine if you had to level up your health to have more health, or level up your strength to be able to use big weapons more effectively. That would be terrible. If only the game would let you level up more cheaply than the other games in the series to compensate for the fact you need to boost an additional stat. If only, eh? Oh wait. 8. Dark Souls 2 has bad hitboxes. <sighs> I can't even keep up the sarcasm thing for this one because there are some genuinely infuriating hitboxes in this game. I mean, come on. All I will say is, the other games aren't exactly guilt-free in that regard, 
And once you've experienced an enemy's dodgy hitbox once, you should be storing that info away and adapting accordingly for future encounters anyway, right? Right. Look, I'm not saying Dark Souls 2 is a masterpiece. Sure, it has its flaws, but you could argue the same about either of the other two entries in the series. So if you're someone who has avoided the game on the basis of everyone telling you it's bad, maybe you should give it a chance and try for yourself. Just don't expect Dark Souls 1.5 and you might even enjoy yourself. Well, until you get to this place that is. As usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to my channel if you're not subbed yet. I'll catch you all next time for another one. Peace.